Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we have some exciting news, the new move update is finally live and we can start checking those Pokemon out. Today we're gonna have some fun with Miltank, Tentacruel and what is that? A Galarian Wheezing? Are you kidding me? Yes, this Pokemon. We're gonna have so much fun with all those new moves and to be honest I think that the biggest asset of uh, uh, this team is gonna be Tentacruel with Scold because it is gonna give it so much uh, accessibility to all those good matchups that he can get uh, along uh, uh, side the meta. So we're gonna see now this uh, acid spray debuffing the Aboma Snow and also we have another one ready to go. So Tentacruel putting up so much pressure to the opponent, they cannot even farm us down. We have to take here the Water Ball and now rely on our Mill Tank to farm down with the Rollout. So yeah, Rollout Mill Tank is finally live. Uh, we have access to Body Slam and Ice Beam. Uh, you can always uh, turn around that Ice Beam. I was between Ice Beam and uh, Thunderbolt, to be honest. But I preferred Ice Beam because of the flyers that might come up against me. But overall, uh, it felt like that uh, Thunderbolt could do much more work in certain matchups, especially something like a Lantern that you, that you are seeing over here. So, Lantern is another Pokemon that got uh, recently uh, reworked with that uh, Surf Addition. So, we're gonna go now here with the body slam and we're gonna apply the final uh, pressure to their shield. We got access to the Galarian Weezing, meaning that now with proper shielding we can go pretty well against them. We're just gonna take the second one, by all means we can absolutely do that and now we can rely on the Galarian Weezing to finish off the match because here comes now the Aboma Snow, we have the time to go for the play rough, down goes Obama Snow and we got the overheat to finish off the lantern and grab this first win. Uh, so I was not having quite a good time, so I will uh, showcase my best battles that I had with this team because uh, all those cool new Pokemon might be cool and stuff like this, but uh, overall they do not work well with each other. Uh, so uh, if you are wondering, can I play this, can I play that? You can, but not all together because they're getting kind of weird. I was using a Dance Purse as well before those sets and uh, yeah, that Pokemon could have the best possible coverage in the game, but still not enough to finish off certain opponents, even uh, certain opponents like a potion type which uh, can destroy, can be destroyed down with a drill run, uh, this uh, dance burst doesn't have quite the attack to threat even that Pokemon down, something like a Stunfisk as well. So right now we're gonna have the Deoxys uh, on the switch here and we're gonna go in with the Galan Weezing uh, because this Pokemon can go pretty well against anything. As a safe switch I really like it but it was pretty late for me to actually discover that. Uh, so with that in my trainers, also I want to inform you uh, that today I was about to upload a little Jungle Cup uh, remix video with my best teams to use but I will postpone this video for tomorrow because as you're already seeing we're having tons of fun uh, with those uh, new moves and uh, we're gonna use uh, this team to showcase the exact three Pokemon. So now my Tentacruel can come in, this Pokemon is gonna be with Razor Leaf, the Tropius, meaning that we will take a lot of damage but in the process we can simply farm down after we shield once. Scold now now we'll take on the stage, we're gonna connect it and they have to actually throw a move if they want to finish us off. Now we can even thread their final shield with my acid spray and things are looking pretty well for me. But at this point they have farmed up to a lot of energy. Is this gonna be a CMP? No it is not and we're gonna take this loss because Rock Slide is gonna be uh, on the uh, top timing uh, scenario for them so we're gonna get destroyed down by this stun. Fisk. But anyways, that was a pretty close match and now we're gonna proceed into the next one against a Medicham up on the lead, perhaps the worst lead you can get with uh, a mill tank because uh, not only you get super effective damage but also rollouts do almost nothing at all. And now they have the Drapion on the Swings against our uh, Galarian Weezing. So Galarian Weezing with Fairy Wind right now can easily farm down a lot of Dark types and can go pretty well against pretty much the entire meta because now it has access to pretty huge moves. You can always use Thunderbolt instead of Play Rough of, or Overheat or Sludge even if you want to have a pretty uh, spammer move like uh, uh, at the Mad Bomb, at the Mad Bomb Energy range. But other than that, I think that uh, two nuke moves like the player up and the overheat will prove to be one of your biggest assets to use Galan Wizzik as a closer.
Uh, so here, uh, my tentacle comes in really glad with the skull to finish off that Merichamp. They have at the back a leak tank, we got the mill tank, and we are absolutely rocking apart this XL Heavy Moon. We're gonna take this victory once again, and as you're seeing, we're having a Galarian Wizzing into the next one. What a crazy Pokemon that is. Look at that attack animation. I am seeing it on from my perspective, but from the opponent's pers perspective, this was the first time that I saw it. And it's absolutely fun. So sludge over here for my opponent. Now, uh, what did we just said? Sludge because uh, it is a smart spammer option. And Play Rough is also gonna connect, but Miltank is a pretty thick monster. It is gonna take out this uh, Wheezing right on the edge with that final uh, body slam. And we're gonna take a shield out of them. Things are looking very well for us now because we can go in with that uh, Galan Wizzing of ours and we can start farming down all that energy. Fairy Wind is gonna charge up to overheat and play era fairly fast and now they have a meal tank of their own at the back. We have to be extremely careful because Wizzing is kinda glassy. We will try to catch a body slam on our uh, tentacle. However, this is not gonna happen because they're gonna have at the back a lantern and things are looking kinda rough right now. We have to take the move here we have to call the bait if it is a thunderbolt it's over but it is just a surf what a huge call over here and Nutter now has to face our acid sprays we will try to go ahead with another acid spray here but uh first they have to throw this uh surf uh, however they are already on the second surf third actually in total and now we have to take note of the mill tank we lag a little bit here let's go with the scold is this gonna be enough trainers no it is not because they have the shield i totally forgot about that and now we have to take this loss with our tentacle now we have to rely on galarian wizzing to sweep the entire match here however we lag a lot once again i don't know if they pass through some moves here but this is gonna get really close now they have the body slam i have definitely lost uh, uh, track of those those uh, fast attacks and, uh, and the rollout to be honest is gonna be a really cool move to charge up your body slams and we're gonna fall short to the lantern uh, because yeah we debuffed ourselves with that uh, uh, overheat debuff so things could get a little bit rough for, rough for us and we're gonna get this loss into the next one now, a very bad lead against this Obstagoon and we will try to go here for the Skull on the Switch with our Tentacruel. Now they go for the Switch, they have the Swambert and even with the debuff I'm pretty sure we can go pretty well against this Pokemon because here comes now my Skull and we're gonna deal tremendous amount of damage to the Swambert. Look at that, absolutely awesome, even those poisons up straight apart, I really can't wait to use my Tentacruel in Ultra League. This is gonna be super fun. So we're gonna get uh, hit by this Hydro Cannon. And because we have, I think we debuffed them, we can survive this Hydro Cannon twice. And you can see that my IVs are kinda garbage. Okay, I know that, I know that for sure. Uh, so now we have to rely on our uh, Wizzing here to finish off the match. Here comes now at the back the Venusaur. Oh my freaking goodness. And we have to play <laughs> accordingly here. We're gonna go for that uh, play rough. And hopefully we can land the second move the overheat perhaps they might think they can survive the player or whatever and now we'll try to go ahead and snipe them down uh, while having a seal up uh, so here comes now the frezzy plan we will go for the overheat are they gonna block trainers and boom ah, come on uh, they cannot uh, so we have one more time to go here we are already debuffed we can still finish off wheezing the boss finishing off the match we will try to catch a move on the mill tank but also clearing our debuffs because we know that obstagoon is a pretty thing monster and we're just gonna take the victory after we come in because we can win that cmp crazy match over there but we all also stood victorious against them. Now against the Galarian stunt trainers again with our mill tank, and this is gonna be a pretty bad matchup. I will go here for the over farm and the ice beam. They are gonna block. That was absolutely awesome. And I do not want to block at all. I am just gonna stand with my mill tank and do whatever I can here. So here comes another ice beam. Good news about this this stuff with the new moves is that most people do not know what to expect right now from new mons, especially the dance birds and the mill tank. So you're gonna have a pretty cool matchup overall against the meta. So here comes now my body slam to do some cheap damage before fainting and you can see that three of those uh, rollouts can be enough to charge up to a body slam and two for the second. Absolutely awesome, absolutely fun to use and now we're gonna go in with our tentacruel. 
I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be just a rock slide after we blocked correctly that earth power. We're gonna over farm and then they're gonna switch out to the Altaria. So Wisin is part fairy and that means that it can resist by a lot of those, uh, th those Dragon Breaths. And uh, you are also seeing that Sky Attack connecting with our Wisin does a lot of damage. Uh, weird stuff here is that they actually go ahead and uh, seal the move, so now gives, this gives us uh, the courage to go ahead and over farm at the point to have a 100 energy, throw the player up on the Altaria and still go pretty well against them with that. Uh, uh, overheat because Tanfisk is about to come in, overheat is gonna connect and whatever there is at the back we might be able to win this. So here comes now the Azumarill and we got the perfect Pokemon for the Azumarill counter. Tentacruel, absolutely amazing, perhaps the best counter to use against uh, an Azumarill in a Go Battle League because uh, it resists everything that it has and also out bulks it, meaning that even a double player up will not be enough to finish us off, we can still take the moves and that uh, uh, poison jab is just gonna melt it down. <clears throat> into the next one against an Altaria, up on the lead, Ice Beam straight for the big move, let's see trainers and BOOM! Oh my goodness, that dealt so much damage! And now you can see that we're going, gonna get hit by a heavy hitting sky attack, however at the back there is gonna be this... Uh, uh, what is it? A white tape? Yeah, the Vigoroth. And we can go right straight ahead now with the Weezing. Uh, Weezing is gonna have quite a weird matchup against this Pokemon because we have to block those uh, bulldozes. But if they go for the body slams for the baits, things can get kind of weird. So they went for that, for that, and now we have to connect this big move, this overheat. Yes, we can, and we are almost able to farm them down. However, they are gonna hold on to their Pokemon. We have have to go with Tentacruel and rely on the last uh, uh, matchup here because we might be able to win it if they have something like an Azumarill. However, it is gonna be a pretty cool Galarian Stunfisk. We managed to catch the big move, hopefully, the Earthquake on the Miltang. Let's go, trainers! And Tentacruel is gonna be able <coughs> to go pretty well against this Stunfisk right now because we are ahead on energy. I'm just gonna block here because you never know what this might happen. Oh my goodness, I even outplayed myself. Here comes the rock slide. We managed to call the bait and I'm expecting the switch at some point. So that's why I'm not uh, firing yet. Here comes now Altaria. We can farm it down. And what a crazy play. What a crazy call. We're gonna call it off for the win. Into the next one now against the victory bell on its shadow form up on the lead. So what I want to do here is to go for the pot slam. Take the shield up. Absolutely awesome. And now we're gonna fire off the Iceman because they might think it's a boss and we can survive it. Boom! Oh my goodness! Miltank with a really cool place here and we have now the Bastidon coming in. Not the best scenario for us, okay? Because this can be really troublesome. And whenever I see a Victory Bell up on the lead, I'm always expecting a Bastidon and perhaps something like a Sebelai or a Medicham on the back. They have the Sebelai, meaning that now my Wizen can be on a very good spot. I'm just gonna call it here, not gonna be a return or anything, just gonna take the resisted foul play and we can go here for the player up, finishing off the Sebelai and at the same time we can go for the overheat right on the edge. I am just hoping that I can get to the CMP, however they are smarter than me, they're just gonna farm it down and now the Anacruel can come in with all that energy and start doing some solid work. Skull number one is gonna debuff the opponent while also taking the shield, absolutely awesome, Stone Edge is not gonna connect right now neither the second one because i have only one solid plan on my mind we have to go for the back-to-back -back skulls and this is gonna be the end game for this match and as you are watching it succeeding, just be sure to leave a like before you go and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, because uh, it means the world to me, your subscription to my channel, you show your appreciation to my efforts, and with that in mind, trainers, we are gonna proceed into the next one against this Wallrein. So Wallrein is gonna be one of the Pokemon that uh, were affected negatively uh, from the recent uh, move update, because of the fact that Icicle Spear now uh, generates uh, energy much slower, and now it needs more energy to get to the Icicle Spear. However, you can see that it still does a lot of work against my uh, mill tank over here. So we can go here for the Ice Beam. They managed to catch it on the Nidoqueen. 
what a huge face palm that was and now we can go ahead with that uh, tentacruel against the needle queen if we can block the earth part correctly we can simply farm down right after so here comes now the total farm down on the needle queen we are both shield less and now we're expecting the final pokemon which is gonna be the walrein and because walrein has recently been nerfed uh, on the energy side of uh, uh, Powder Snow, actually Acid Spear, yeah, I think Acid Spear, anyways, they cannot reach with the Earthquake, okay, so we're just gonna force now the final Pokemon to emerge, which is gonna be the Alolan Shadow Marowak, then we can go ahead, take that Bone Club, not gonna be enough to finish off our defensive Pokemon, Skull is gonna connect, look at that, and Miltank will roll out this victory for us, into the next one with a very cool Pokemon against our rollout Pokemon, and we're gonna see the switch into the Scrafty. Guess what we got? A fairy type with no charm. Absolutely love the new updates. And now we can go ahead with that uh, over farm. Uh, perhaps I was getting too greedy here because now with that foul play connecting, I might be on a pretty tough spot against Golbat because now they can farm it down, but at least we can take a shield or two out of them. Let's see how much damage those uh, wing attacks do. Oh my, they do so much. So we have to go for the overheat and hopefully for another run trainers. Can we do it? No, we cannot so down we go we're going, to get, we're going to getting farmed down here but we have some moves up ready to go so uh poison fang is going to connect and i'm pretty sure i can go for one extra rollout and then another poison fang here however this is not going to happen because they are already on the double poison fang range we have to double block here our uh milk tank on the third poison fang absolutely amazing for them and now we have to connect the ice beam I was not throwing immediately because I was waiting for them to switch out, however there is gonna be a ghost type at the back and that makes sense, they wanted to preserve that uh, uh, HP that they had, so now, right now Skull is gonna connect, gonna do so much damage on the Sableye and also get the debuff. Uh, which is gonna be super useful right here since now we can simply finish off with our tentacle so that's all trainers which was your most exciting part watching this video or from the new move update uh, mine for sure was tentacle because now it has much for play in go battle league and perhaps in ultra league so thank you for watching trainers be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and click over here for the next video that might be of interest to you stay safe trainers and i hope to see you all into the next one Two, two, two.